You know, you've talked a lot about community and local artists and this kind of collective and collaborative spirit that comes with these these murals and this initiative. How do you get local artists? Where do you find these folks to kind of help breathe life into this to this effort of yours? Yeah, this is a good question because there, while there are lots of very talented artists across the country and in Houston, um, there's not a lot of artists that really want to work with community. And that becomes a, a part of the ethos of my creative practice. I'd like to say I put the public in public art. I'm very interested in the idea of taking non-artists and giving them, and let me say a better yet, empowering them to not become an artist, but to embrace their creativity. So by giving them an opportunity to work on these murals, when we step away and they're left with work in their own community, they're gonna take care of this work. They're gonna own it. They're gonna make sure these works are not vandalized. They're gonna make sure that the story about how this work came about is told. And so it's really important that when I reach out to artists, I'm not just looking for people who paint really well or who are very articulate about telling their story, but even more importantly, artists who embrace working alongside other artists and non-artists alike, because it's that magic that really makes these projects so much more meaningful to not just the individuals, uh, the individual artists, but also to the communities that these artworks will serve. 